All right, folks, let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to do a barn scene today. I really like my barn scenes, and that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to get a, just a little bit of phthalo blue. Let's see how, yeah, that's a little bit in it. This, this brush, there's liquid white up here in the sky, and this is actually the brush I just used for it. I want it pretty light around the bottom area here. Um, and we're just going to start, I'm just using a one inch brush right now. It's going to get a little darker as we're working our way up. I'm going to wind up probably taking a two inch brush and blending all this together. And I do have a picture today I'm looking at, so I'm not just completely winging this picture. I have something to look at. Let's make it a little darker right here. A little darker. Yeah, I like my barns, man. If I don't do a barn every so often, I, I miss it. I like old rusty stuff. Rustic looking stuff. Let's take some Prussian blue. It's a little darker. Let's put it around the top and in the corners. The picture I look at don't have any clouds in the sky and I may not put any in either. Let's see how it looks. Let me get a two inch brush. Set my palette down, make sure this brush is clean. It might be clean, but it wasn't stiff. Let's just see if we can blend some of this. Let's use some crisscross strokes. Yeah, this is one stiff brush I got here. <laughs> my gosh. I don't know if the paint thinner makes it stiff or where I'm not cleaning it good enough. You can only get these so clean though. I mean, I clean them pretty good, I, at least I think. In my mind, I'm cleaning them pretty good. Okay, it don't look too bad there. Yeah, I do the crisscross strokes just like this. This is the best way to blend it. This is typically what I do with the sky. I mean, I, I don't worry about clouds and stuff. I just like, like it streaked up. Everybody's got their own preference. Okay, I think this is okay. I like it. Well, let's get us a number three brush. And I'm basically gonna go around and get ready to put some collars on this on the barn, trace the barn out. I'm gonna start with some yellow ochre and some white, and that'll probably create green, which we really don't want, but that's okay for now, because we're just tracing, making, making marks so we don't lose them for later. See, that's about all I need to do. Yellow ochre and white because the roof is kind of tannish looking. It kind of looks like a light brown yellow ochre. And that's why I picked chose this collar here, no other reason. Um, let's go ahead. I'll put a little bit more white on it. We'll go down this side here. Yeah, this is kind of a close up little. I like the close-up barns. This really ain't close enough for me. I like them even closer than that. That way you can see all the nice textures. But this is this is what I got today, and that's fine. Let's go ahead. Let me grab a little little roll. Um, where the sun is coming down from the upper left, coming down this way. A little roll umber. I haven't painted for a few days, so I, my palette was clean. I just put all these collars on here just a minute ago. Let's 
So I use the, my colors are always in the description in case you ever wonder why I don't say my colors. They're always in the description. Pretty much every painting I do, they're in the description always. But I use the same colors just about every time. On occasion, I'll throw in some uh, cerulean blue on stuff, and I'll throw in some cad red light or something. But typically, I use the same exact colors all the time. Okay, these are going to be black. It's going to be dark. These are big doors. Um, let's take a little look here. It's going to be dark under here. And when I go to do this, I'm not sure what colors are really what color I really want to make it. To be quite honest, it looks like a light brown. The actual barn does. It's dark. It's going to be dark on this side. Darker than the front, I should say. I'm using burnt sienna. Um, burnt sienna, probably some ochre. Maybe throw in some white just to kind of blend it up. I'm just putting color down. That's what we're doing. You don't have to be real neat and precise. I like it just nice and random. Back to raw umber up in here. Yeah, you, when you put collar down, you don't have to worry so much about stuff. And the front is obviously going to be lighter. <coughs> I'm just going to keep doing this, guys. I mean, I'm just throwing collars in. Just, I'm just putting collar down on the canvas. And I'm going to keep doing this, and I will bring you back, I promise. See you in a minute. All right, let's go ahead and put our grass in. I've got the collar down. I actually took a shop towel and I wiped all this off. So now we got a stained canvas. You got to start with something, guys. You can't, I mean, you, this painting is about layering. You got to put layer after layer after layer. And this is our first layer. This is basically getting collar down on the canvas. And that's what we did. So now I'm going to take some cad yellow light. Let me look up here at my picture real quick. I believe this is about where I need to be. And we're going to start putting some grass in. I'm going to start with the cad yellow light. This is how I do it. There's all kinds of ways to do things. But I like to go ahead and just get random collars, throw it down, and then just mix it all up. That's cad yellow light. This is yellow ochre. Or in some yellow ochre, probably right in here. This is going to be shaded. Probably from here up. Let's grab some green. Gotta have some green in our grass, don't we? Gotta have some green. Throw some green in. And I'll take a one inch brush and I'll just mix all this up. Bring it down a little further, then I'm going to switch over to some Prussian blue. I wish I had some crimson on my palette. I almost put some on, and I didn't. I should have done that. I like to put a lizard and crimson down here around the bottom. Makes it nice and dark, because you're supposed to, it's supposed to get darker as it comes towards you. This is Prussian blue. Run a little bit up the edge of there. And it's definitely going to be blue back in here. Dark. Well, that's a shadow. That's probably enough collar. Let's mix this up. I'm just going to use this same old brush I used for the sky. I don't want to keep dirty in brushes, and there's no reason to, really. Because all this is is a base. This is not, a, not the final product. And I wouldn't normally take a blue brush and stick it in yellow. But the, today it's okay. Because <laughs> I'm in a hurry. 
So it's okay to do that today. Because see, I just gives, you know, I, I'm going to probably wipe all this off anyway. It don't make no difference. Just putting collar down. Don't have to be perfect when that's all you're doing. Now try to stay out of this blue as long as you can. Because once your brush gets into that Prussian blue, it's it's really, you can't use it for nothing else but that, really, for dark colors. That's not a bad, but that's not our, this is not our final product, remember. But this is a good start. Yeah, I like to put a lizard and crimson down here in the bottom area. Makes it look purplish. Don't hurt nothing. Um, let's go ahead and put this in. It's okay if this all mixes. It don't make no difference. Put some of that in. Yeah, it looks fine. Like I said, I'll, I'll probably take a shop towel now and just wipe all this off. All right, I want to show you what I'm doing here. Um, the side of this barn here is darker. This is darker than this. And I'm just going to show you what I do a lot of times. Just I got an angled brush. It's just got a little angle on. I'm just throwing some collars in here. This is I'm just randomly, and that's what you want to do. This is an old barn. You got to remember. Actually, it's got a lot of boards missing, and I'm just throwing some stuff in. This is how I do barns. They're always rough looking. And that's the way you want them. That's what I like. I like it being rough looking. I'll bring it all the way up to the top and then I'll take some different collars. I got some alizarin crimson here just for extra collar. Mixes, mixes up real well. Lots of different collars. More collars the better. Let's see, I'll bring it up a little higher right up in here. Just all kinds of stuff. Randomness. I'll do the front. I'll do the front of this the same way, but I'll make it lighter. You know, I might throw some brown in. I got some brown here. Of course, it's already got brown on it. Actually, I won't do that because it does have brown on it. How about some burnt sienna? Oh, there you go. Now see that? That shows. Just random collars. Bring it all the way down. Take a little bit of black. Just throw in here. Like I said, there's boards missing. I'm going to have black in here anyway. I don't want to put too much. Not yet. But this is a pretty good start here for our collar variations. I'll do a little bit here on the front and then I'll do some of it off camera because it's going to take a while. I got some of this blue left over from a painting I worked on yesterday. See, that's why you save it. Now, tomorrow it won't be any good, but for today it is good. And the front of this is going to be lighter, as I was saying. And I, I, I like doing these up and down strokes because that's how the boards are. They're up and down. They're not side to side. They're up and down. So I'm basically following the pattern of the boards. Let's see what some crimson. Oh yeah, see look at that collars in there. All right, I've been working here on my barn a little bit. I still got some more stuff to do, but we're making progress and that's what counts, right? That's what we're gonna say anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna, we're gonna work on some grass now. I'm gonna start with some cad yellow light. I want this to be my bright area right here. I got a real big fan brush today. And that's okay as long as it works the way we want it to. Yeah, I want this to be my bright area. It can be bright back here too. And 
nice and bright. It's a good thing because I'm pretty much out of cad yellow light. I'm gonna have to switch over to some cad yellow or cad light. I mean, yellow ochre. Excuse me, yellow ochre. And that's fine. I was going to anyway. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough for the cad yellow light. Yeah, we like our grasses to have lots of different colors in it. And we'll just move it on over here. This is going to be dark back in here. This back here, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll throw something in here. I'm not sure what color I really want that yet. Let's switch over to some green, sap green. We want to get darker as it comes toward us to create a feeling of distance. I'm going to go ahead and throw some sap green back in here. I'll probably wind up making this darker. Maybe. We'll see how this looks. But I need to go ahead and do this. Before I get too much further along. brush off a second here yeah yeah that looks good right there that's what I was wanting to do okay back to the sap green sap green for down in here and I'm pushing up on this to create texture give it the impression see like that right there that there's grass sticking up and that's what we want I'm going to take some sap green now and I'm going to mix it with some Prussian blue. I want to get start getting darker. Getting darker as we come down. And on the edges too. It's fine to get it dark on the edges. Now, Prussian blue. I'm going to throw some crimson in here. I have it here. Might as well use it. I do like crimson at the bottom. It's kind of a red collar. Red's a foreground collar. And I just like the way it darkens it. Let's get some more Prussian blue, alizarin crimson, especially in the corners. It's nice and dark. Probably got enough on my brush to finish this, I would think. Yeah, that don't look too awful bad. That don't look too bad. There's some right in here. Darken this a little bit. Yeah, that don't look too bad. Okay. Well, what I'm going to wind up doing is putting some fences here. And then I'm going to work on this barn. That's probably going to be about it for this painting. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. All right, I went ahead and put a tree in right here. As you can see, it's not in my picture, but I just thought it needed one. I'm going to put in a few fence posts. And they're... I think they're going to go behind this tree. Let's see, we'll put one there. Let me make sure I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> uh, let's put one here. We're going to put one back here. Oh, maybe one more here. And I was debating on putting a close up, like the fence is running across the front. Putting a close, big close up one here. I think I might do that. I mean, you know, what the heck. 
It's going to be a big one here. Let's see. Let's put it just for something in this area. I need something over here. Well, okay. And I'll put a post here or a railing. Put another railing here. Okay, let's put one. We're going, I want it to go out of the picture, so we'll make this a little shorter. Yeah, I want it to work its way out of the picture. here and it's running out of the picture this is just my own imagination man you gotta think easy you gotta think about this kind of stuff see that looks I, I put something there and that's what I want I want something here something in this corner because it needs something all right for these fences back here let me go ahead and I'll put a border too I'll put some running like this to kind of match even though things don't really have to match perfect and we don't really want them to. When it comes to barns and stuff, you don't want things perfect by no means. This one's falling down. Okay, I got me some cad yellow light now. I'm going to keep a paper towel in my hand. And I'm going to leave my palette sit here because you got to wipe it off. I think I'm going to start back in here. And I'm just throwing in some highlights, like I said, where I think they should be. Just use your imagination. Um, let's see, probably, probably need a few right in here. They're just brighter leaves, basically, is what they amount to. A little brighter. Stand back and take a look at it. Let's start over here. Just whipping them in. Slow process, but I mean, it's not bad. It's not that bad. Probably making it sound worse than what it really is. It's not, it's not. Once you get used to doing this stuff, when you first start out, you're thinking, oh my gosh, there's a million leaves on there. Well, yeah, it might be, but I mean, it's not that bad. You can get used to just about anything, really. Just keep doing this until you basically get it the way you want it. I'll do a little bit more and then we'll probably call it. I'll probably do the rest off camera just because it does take a while. For no other reason than it just takes a while. Okay, well, you got the main idea, I believe, so I am going to finish the rest off camera, and I will be back. Well, folks, that looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. I'll add that to my barn playlist. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos, and thanks for watching.